Dan is turning 50 soon and we're moving into the bus for the week. We've decided to move into the bus while well, we got family visiting. Perfect timing because we got our alternating current working. We got our breaker box hooked up. We're gonna finally try to get that air conditioner hooked up and running. It's probably recommended that you use an HVAC professional. I saw one video on YouTube. We're gonna give it a try. After lunch, something really exciting is happening. So how was your first experience using the chainsaw mall? It was a little nerve wracking at first. <laughs> the last thing you wanna do is lose control of it. So many things that are, we're doing right now, like we've waited for for so long. Like we've been excited about and our kitchen counters like we've been like two years of thinking about it i'm happy it needs running water we're mela and don we uprooted our lives and left los angeles with the dream of converting an mci d3 40 foot bus into a tiny home on wheels we are sharing our progress one bite at a time <laughs> what how to eat an elephant one bite at a time. <laughs> <laughs> You might remember several months, it seems like an eternity ago, we were able to get the top of our mini split head mounted and in place. The reason we went ahead and put it in at that time is because we were very ambitious. We really wanted to have air conditioning in the bus to work this summer. Unfortunately, some dreams do fail or are postponed. Today we're finally going to be able to put the mini split bottom outside unit connected up here, wired in, and hopefully get some air conditioning. But before we do any of that, I wanna get the bedroom vacuumed up and cleaned up so Mela can do some Pilates in here later today. We are super excited to be able to sleep in the bus for a week, but that does mean that we need to give this place a thorough cleaning. We vacuum up the big chunks of whatever on the floor while we work, but there's just like a fine layer of sawdust all over everything. Like I haven't cleaned the windows at all because you just keep getting it dirty. So I'm excited to give this place a thorough cleaning and bring it to its full glory. Now eventually we're going to mount our AC unit down in this bay after we remove the old compressor that we're not using anymore because we pulled the AC out. One thing I do want to do is make sure this door can't shut or slam. We don't want these guys to get damaged. These are very important. So I took a couple chunks of 2x4, screwed them into place. Hopefully that will hold it there. wired up for connecting to the mini split head as well as to the electrical that goes to our 30 amp breaker now. The weather is so nice this week. This is so typical 
rehabitate <laughs> to get the air conditioning set up when the weather is like perfect. This side of the bus is looking much more livable and clean, minus the floors. I'm gonna wait until they finish working on the air conditioning because I gotta walk in and out of here. We won't be using this obviously too much because it's not finished, but we will have the cats in here with us at night. So we do have to make sure that this side of the bus is cat safe. The next step is something I have never done. I have no experience. If you're gonna do this, it's probably recommended that you use an HVAC professional. I saw one video on YouTube and a guy used a vacuum pump and got his working. So, I bought the vacuum pump. We're gonna give it a try right here and now, see if we can get it to work. Now when we did install the head of the mini split, they recommended using this uh, leak guard. It's a little sealant for copper piping. We opened it up and used a little bit of it and now we can't find it. So, we're scavenging around to see where it might be. There it is, right there. Chunk drawer. It's the discovery of the leak guard. We're now ready to go ahead and hook up the copper pipes from the head into the outdoor unit. And then hook up this vacuum pump and figure all that out. There's a really good video by a um, YouTuber Underdone on how he's installed mini splits and it was very helpful for us. I'll include a link to that if you want to watch what we've been watching to prepare for this whole process. And wish us luck. So that means we're ready to try to hook up the vacuum pump and uh, pull all the air out of this thing. All right, operating instructions, pressure testing. Connect the blue hose to the three-way valve. Connect the yellow middle hose to the pump. It says remove the exhaust fitting cap and add oil. Then this one here, right? This is the low pressure. Turn on the evacuation pump. Let it run for at least 15 minutes or until the compound meter reads negative 76 CMHG. What's your valve rate for your gauge? Negative 30. Okay. There's a rise in the system back in. Call a professional. That's what we're going to say. <laughs> it's not budging, that's a good sign. There we go. Alright, we waited five minutes. Now we're ready for a quarter turn counterclockwise with the hex. The pressure gauge. Guess what? Higher. Yep. It's higher than the parametric pressure, so that's good. Remove the charge hose from the service port. Great. Okay. both of these caps on the valve. Okay, with the final stage, we got power on the remote.
brought some ribbons in the bus. <laughs> That's what they do to show off the air conditioning working. It's got a little light on there, which is kind of cool. It indicates the temperature. And then the remote has all kinds of controls, which we have to learn about. It is getting nice and cool in here with the air conditioning on. Um, I've got the whole system set up and I can see it's pulling around 400 to 500 watts according to our battery monitor with no sun really coming in because the sun's behind the trees we can run our air conditioner at 61 degrees for 12 hours with our battery power. with our air conditioner on. It's only taken 182 to 300 watts. And now that the sun's out, we're pulling in 543 watts to 480 watts, which means that we could run our air conditioner just off solar panels and still be charging our batteries. Now that is exciting. in this one. <laughs> Welcome to Tinfoil Alley. <laughs> Not pretty, but if we want the air conditioning to be effective, we really have to block out the heat that's coming from the windows. It's just temporary. It looks like uh, we're worried that the uh, government is trying to read our brain thoughts. It looks like a crazy person's house, <laughs> but it makes a huge difference. Today could not have gone too much smoother. Getting all the connections in place for the air conditioner wired up, I felt pretty confident. And I'm not sure if I'm just feeling more confident because we've gotten so many more projects done and a major milestone getting the electricity in the bus and the batteries and the solar panels, wi panels wired up. But I'm feeling really good. We want to give a big thank you and shout out to our latest BFF in the Rahaba tribe, Nils Merrigan. Alright, today's the day. We finish cleaning up in here so that we can move in tomorrow. Listen up, I've tried to tell you this a hundred times. Not getting better. a little bit in okay great thank you and we got our uh, liquid waste converted down into a little container and then the fan from our peat moss from the solid waste area of our composting toilet will come down through this tube and out the bottom of the bus so this is a makeshift temporary solution for us to live in the bus this week eventually that liquid waste will go to the gray water tank. The other thing I need to do is get the electrical bay all tidied up and clean. I'm not gonna zoom in because it looks like a rat's nest in this area. Now if you break it, I can take it. I don't need a prize. Leave out the fact that I am up against a thousand guys. My intuition efficient because I can use my mind. I'll try to tell me how it's done. You haven't the bus has never been so clean. I am so excited to move into that bus. I wish we were just moving in to stay in, but now that it's all clean, I just want to live in it. But we're going to take a quick lunch break because after lunch,
something really exciting is happening. So my cousin Jean's here to help us. We're gonna cut our countertops today. So fun little story for you. We arrived here and heard about the ash ball beetle that was killing the ash trees in the area. And there were quite a few trees down, so we were always looking on the property when we were going for walks for trees that were down and thinking about using them for our kitchen countertops. And then there was this huge tree back here that had been dead for a while. The ash ball beetle gets underneath the bark and it kills the tree, but the wood is still good. So they knew this tree back here that was really, really tall was dead and it had been dead for a long time. Don's dad decided to cut it down before some storms came just so that it didn't fall down in the wrong direction and cause some damage. After it was cut down, we were just thrilled with the size of it and the fact that it was just in the backyard and we didn't have to go walking out into the woods and try to pull a tree out of the woods to use for our kitchen countertops. This one was perfect. So our cousin Gene, he does a lot of woodworking, so he said he would help us with this. He came around last year and took a look at the tree and we chopped it up into a few pieces and talked about our plan for it. Yeah. Getting up? Yeah, yeah it is going up. We had to get a bigger sawmill for this tree because it is pretty large, which makes it great for our kitchen countertops. No! Molly! Molly! Hey. hey, what you barking at? It's just Jean. <laughs> and finally, we are all ready to go and cut this tree up. That's a nice fashion accessory. My favorite.
nice edge. Yeah, man, man. That's some pretty wood. How do you like this edge, Bella? It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love all the... It's got a nice grain to it. Yeah, yeah the wood grain's gorgeous. <laughs> The wood grain is beautiful. It's everything we wanted. I'm so happy right now and so excited to get started on our kitchen. Each room like we do ends up being my new favorite part of the bus. And I have a feeling the kitchen might top them all. <laughs> Down there at the edge. Yeah, there's something, something down there every time. Like a knot or something, you know? Yeah. Did that tire you out? No, it wasn't that bad actually. The saw does all the work, you can just kind of guide me. Yeah. 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 Sweep up all the sawdust so we can use it in our composting. System. Yeah, I know, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> So how was your first experience using the chainsaw? It was a little nerve-wracking at first, but then you don't even realize how pelted in uh, the sawdust. Because you just want to make sure you keep it going it's nice and steady. <laughs> the last thing you want to do is lose control of it. Job. Yeah, I think you did a great job. Give myself a three and a half stars. Three and a half? I'd give you more stars than that. More stars than that. Yeah. <laughs> so it's starting to spit on us. Yeah, it looks like there's rain coming. So we decided it's probably best to just call it a night. Just call it quits because we don't want to be <laughs> stuck out there in the rain. So we're gonna pack up and have to finish that big guy another day. But so happy with what we got so far. That was a fun day. Yeah, it really was. I was just thinking while you guys were doing that, how so many things that are we're doing right now, like we have waited for for so long. Like we've been excited about having solar power and air conditioning and our kitchen counters like we've been like two years of thinking about it and it's all finally happening so much excitement right now yeah to just see so many things coming together right now it's exciting so we managed to get four good sized pieces and then we still have one big tree trunk that we might be able to mill at a later date the drizzle has stopped but you know what? The clouds are gray. Who knows? It could stop pouring. It could. And it's <laughs> five something, so yeah. we're calling it a good reason to call it a day. And yeah. Yeah. Fun day. Fun day.
Isn't that the perfect size for you? Huh. We're moving into the bus for the week. We got our clothes packed. It's kind of like we're going on vacation, but different. Okay. Maybe it's time to take the tags off. <laughs> Typical, it's raining and moving day. <laughs> We're so close to having everything we need in the bus. We have power, we have a bed. We have air conditioning and heating. We have computer and Wi-Fi access. If we had water, we could live here for real. How you doing over there? I'm happy. <laughs> Who needs running water? We could bring bottles of water in, we'll be fine. So we're officially staying on the bus. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, as much as I love the hospitality of my parents we have been thinking and dreaming and hoping of being in here and even though it's just for a week until we move on to the next stage of the kitchen it sure is nice <laughs> Crazy, what are you doing? We're going to see if we can build our own toe kicks for our cabinets because we want to put drawers in them for storage. All our kitchen cabinets are right here. But we'll share that with you next time.